Tricks, tricks, tricks! Today I have an, am an amazing trick to share with you guys and you can use this to solve some really complicated math problems. And not only yourself you'll be amazed, you can show your teachers, your friends, and show off your skill. So stay tuned to find out more. Thanks for tuning back in on NP Station. So let's dive in into finding the square root of 50 of the numbers 51 through 59. So how about we take a step back here? Well guys, what's a square root? Well a square root means that you're multiplying a number by the same number. So I have listed some examples here. So for example, 2 squared which is 2 times 2 equals 4, 3 squared equals 9, 4 squared equals 16, and so on and so on. So how about our first one should be 56 squared? Okay, so our first step is we have to do 5 squared and that gets us to 25. Now we have to add the last digit of the number which in this case is 6. So let's add that to 25. And then we have to times that by 100. And then we have to add 6 squared. Okay, so I have listed all the steps below, and it might look complicated, guys, but don't worry. Once you, get, once you guys get the hang of it, you can do this in about two seconds. So let's do 25 plus 6, and that gets us to 31. And then multiply that by 100, which that gets us to 3100. Now let's add the 6 squared. And 6 squared, which is... 6 times 6, and that equals 36. So we have 3136 as our answer to 56 squared. Wasn't that so simple and amazing? Well, how about we do another one? How about now we can do 57 squared? Okay, first step is we have to do 5 squared, which again is 25, and then we have to um, add the last digit and it is seven, so let's add that. And then times that answer to 100, and then add seven squared. Okay, so now let's get into the math. So our first step is we have to do 25 plus seven, and that equals 32. And then times that by 100, which is 3200, now add seven squared, which that is seven times seven, and that would equal 49. So our answer would be three, two, four, nine. So now we got the answer to our second problem, which was 57 squared. And guys, this, this method is really amazing because actually it's helping me a lot. In school, I'm learning how to do order of operations, which includes the squares and exponents. So this method really helps me. So if you guys are learning about exponents and square roots, you should surely use this method. So how about we do a couple more problems? So our next one um, can be 59 squared. So our first step is we have to do 5 squared, which that is 25, and then add the 9, which is 34. So we have 34 as the answer, and then we have to do 34 times 100, and that gets us to 3400. Zero, zero. Then we have to add 9 squared, which 9 times 9 is 81, so plus 81, and we get 3481 as our answer to 59 squared. So our next one um, can be 53 squared. So let's first do 5 squared, and that equals 25, plus the 3, which is 28, and then times that by 100, which is 2,800, and then we have to add 3 squared, which 3 times 3 is 9. So our answer gets to 8, 2809. 
And wasn't that so simple? We literally took about two seconds to do these problems. So as you guys can see, I was really, really excited to share this amazing trick with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and learned a lot too. And if you have any suggestions, please leave some comments below. And if you like this video, please share with your friends and family members and show off what you've learned. So have a good weekend. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.